We're coming to the end of 2022, and in this video, we'll be taking a look at the last market update of the year to see what are the biggest climbers of 2022. Let's go and find out. Hey everyone, welcome, welcome back to the channel. This is the final one of the year, the market update, and we'll be taking a look at the biggest climbers of the year. I'm not going to lie, we're going to be seeing some sets which has taken me by surprise of just how much they've grown over the last year. It's crazy. Obviously, we've got the obvious ones of Orphan Skies, which we'll be looking at as well. But these are incredible. If you've invested in these at the start of the year, you're absolutely laughing. What are they? Well, let's go and find out. First off, we have Brilliant Stars. Now, I absolutely love this set. I've been talking about it a lot. But if you pick this up, when it came out at the beginning of the year, you know, for its normal price, you have done incredibly well because over the past year, it has gone up quite a bit. Now, it's due to have a reprint at some point. When it will come, how big it will be, we don't know. But right now, Brilliant Stars is doing fantastic. It's going the same route as Evolving Skies was going. Let's take a look at this, guys. We take a look. A year ago, if you picked up, don't forget, it came out at the beginning of the year. You picked up for around that 116, 117 upon release. It spiked, had that big hype around it, and then it dropped. And then the release happened. It came out around, it was like January time. And then it climbed all the way up. 180 and it's just been a constant climber it's had multiple reprints already and waves is it going to have any more reprints we don't know it's supposed to have at least one more coming don't forget it only came out this year hopefully it does because the price of this again really expensive over here in the uk you can pick these up for around 135 140 it's not too bad not like the 180 that it is on tcg player but this is a big climber for the year will i see this go above 200 in 2023 absolutely i do feel like if a reprint comes it will drop in price but it will bounce back absolutely it is in my opinion the second best set in the sword and shield era and it's only going to grow from here in 2023 and beyond next up we're taking a look at cosmic eclipse we're going sun and moon era now and sun and moon era booster boxes are tough to get hold of and they're getting really really expensive and as you can see here from the chart guys in the past year cosmic eclipse has just been climbing it was around 500 dollars a box and we're now looking at close to 550 and cosmic eclipse is a fantastic set we did see like a not like a reprint but we did see stock of single boosters appearing in tins and collection boxes and things like that but for the booster box a sealed booster box is just an absolute gold mine it's been climbing literally like month on month on month and it is incredible you know i have one in my collection it is a fantastic set in my opinion it's one of the best sun and moon era sets around in my opinion i think it's great this is a great set and it is expensive it is expensive over here in the uk we're probably looking around 500 pound plus i think i saw saw one recently sold maybe 520 530 it is increasing I remember picking mine up back last year for around 400 so it has climbed quite a bit since then this is a great set and you know if you want to crack packs single packs are cheap compared to buying a booster box but if you want to collect sealed in the long term cosmic eclipse is one of these sets it did get printed a lot less than a lot of other sets in the sun and moon era that's one thing to take in mind moving forward for cosmic eclipse it is one of the most expensive Sun and Moon era sets and also one of the most expensive modern era sets. Sticking with Sun and Moon, we got Unified Minds. Now, I love Unified Minds. I do have a booster box of this myself in my seal collection, but this is climbing. This has been climbing. Let's take a look at this. So it did dip. So at the beginning of the year, coming from December last year, it was around 350 and it did dip to around 330. And then it is now bounced back up to around 389. Don't know why the dip happened. It's not like there was more that appeared. But the dip did happen and now it's gone back up. Do I see this reaching $500? I really do. I think by the end of next year, we could be seeing Unified Mind Booster Boxes reaching that $500 mark. We've been seeing other Sun and Moon era sets going that way as well. Ultra Prism, Unbroken Bonds, they're all over $400. And I really do believe that we will see Unified Minds reaching that mark. It is a fantastic set. It is getting a lot harder to get hold of. Pretty much most, like I say, most Sun and Moon era sets are becoming harder and harder to find. And getting one in a good price is tough. Uh, I picked mine up for, I think, 280 Now, that was why I picked mine up about a year ago, or right at the beginning of the year. I think I actually bought it on that dip, to be honest. But yeah, fantastic set. Brilliant. We did a box break of it. It was great fun. Hopefully, we'll do another one down the line. But yeah, Unified Minds is just such a good set, and I think it'd be great for the long haul. But yeah, I think it would reach 500 by the end of next year. And finishing off with another Sun and Moon era set, talking of Ultra Prism, we have Ultra Prism. I am yet to get this in my collection. I still haven't found a good price. Or even a booster box really to get hold of let's take a look at this back at the beginning of the year we're looking around 310 315 and now it is nearly 400 dollars like i said like unified minds it is climbing pretty much all of them are except crimson invasion 
that's it's pretty bad but all the rest have gone really really well this year in 2022 and i expect it to climb even more and this is the thing you know modern era and booster boxes we are getting to the point where you know one great comment i've seen people say is today's modern is tomorrow's vintage these booster boxes are climbing if you manage to pick these up when they're around in sun and moon era 90 dollars a box 100 dollars a box you're laughing and i can still see some of the sword and shield era sets eventually going the same way so that's one thing to take into consideration with when investing and collecting down the line give it time it will eventually climb and ultra prism the same over here in the uk about 400 pound a box for ultra prism it is getting quite pricey okay we have a set we don't talk about that much and that is the sword and shield base now i've said this before it has been a big climber let's take a look at this guys so this year it has been climbing sword and shield base exactly it's not a that fun it's a pretty basic you know base set basic set nothing to you know scream about single card prices aren't very good either there's no massive chase cards in it let's take a look at this 192 and now it is sitting at around 240 that's pretty impressive especially for a base set and it's not that old that's what's crazy it's actually not that old and for it to climb like that you know who would have thought and i've said it before i can see other sword and shield era sets that may necessarily not be the strongest battle styles you're right you know rebel clash we'll get to that in a minute all of that sort of stuff is just climbing 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 so there's one thing to think about that's why i say about battle styles it may be cheap may not be the best but it'll eventually get there and you know sword and shield base is the same i'll get booster boxes of sealed sword and shield over here in the uk these are going for like 200 a box crazy now this is the crazy one rebel clash rebel trash now i think this is one of the worst sets in the sword and shield era however however look at this so it did climb and then it dropped so it climbed all the way up to around 204 205 and then it dropped to 177 and that's back up to 200 dollars a box for rebel clash who would have thought you know it's a terrible set to open and the packs are not worth barely anything but a sealed booster box 200 dollars. who would have thought this is what i talk about chillum rain or fusion strike you know things like battle styles if rebel clash can get there come on yeah you know so rebel clash is an interesting one again it's not very old but because it became our print like sword and shield base it's becoming harder and harder to get hold of over here in the uk Still booster boxes 170 180 they are climbing and over in the us 200 on tcg player interesting it is the worst set in the sword and shield era however it's doing incredibly well this year do i feel like it'll climb again next year i think so 300 next year probably not but i do feel like maybe 250 by the end of next year is a pretty good return for rebel clash we get to the final one guys if you've made this far into the video and you've enjoyed it make sure to smash that like button make sure you subscribe to the channel for more pokemon content and guys let me know down in the comments have you picked any of these sets up are you interested in picking any of these up rebel clash maybe but i do feel like you like number one let's just get into it number one we have evolving skies this is the big big climber this is just ridiculous beginning of the year guys 114 dollars you imagine if you bought this for 114 dollars and you're now looking at this and you're like i think i've done quite well 285 dollars i managed to pick mine up for around 120 120 pounds this was when we had the reprint back in the summer i was like i'm going in on this i bought a case and i've kept a case so i have a case of evolving skies sealed that's just sat there looking good at the moment i'm happy with that will i get some down the line i'm not too sure if a reprint comes which i don't think it will but if a reprint comes then i will pick up some more because i can tell you now if a reprint comes the price will drop but only by a little but it will bounce back like an absolute beast let's take a look at this it had a reprint in the summer where we saw the dip it did peak 186 very similar to brilliant stars where brilliant stars is now okay and that was a year after the release of Evolving skies Brilliant Stars nearly been out a year. Same price point. They're going they're very similar, if we know it's very similar. Then the reprint happened. Then it dropped to 144. Basically, you know, MSRP. Pokemon Center was selling it for MSRP. Some places might sell it for a little bit less. That was the restock. Very small amount. Then it went to the moon. It went absolutely bonkers. And we're looking at nearly $300 a box. Next year, like I said, if we do get a lot, a small reprint, maybe at the beginning of the year, it might drop the price down by maybe 10 to 20%. Then it'll be dried out. No more reprints. Then we're going to start to see the boom of the volume skies. I, I'm going to go on a limb here and I think $500 by the end of next year. 
for an Evolving Skies booster box. Four, between four to $500, I think, will be the sweet spot for Evolving Skies by the end of next year. Who knows? Time will tell. Unless they surprise us and they release a massive reprint wave, I doubt it. But we'll have to wait and see. I kind of feel like they will, they will reprint it in you know, supplemental products again like they've been doing. We'll have to wait and see, like I say. Over here in the UK, it has been selling for around 270 260 270 a box, depending on where you look on eBay. Uh, and like Facebook Marketplace and things like that. But I would say probably around that 260, 270 mark for a sealed booster box of Evolving Skies. You can pick up booster packs or sleeved booster packs for cheaper than a booster box. If you do want to crack packs, there is a cheaper option. However, for the collectability, booster boxes are the way to go. And is the king of Sword and Shield era. There's nothing that's going to beat it. I think Brilliant Stars is going to go the same way. Maybe not as fast, but, uh, but both of them together are just going to go to the moon in 2023 so definitely keep an eye on that there you have it guys that is the market update for december 2022 the final one of the year some big heavy climbs of the year really really crazy rebel clash has surprised me I'm not gonna lie that is just that's baffled me but all the others brilliant stars who would have thought that it's pushing towards 200 dollars by the end of the year who would have thought of Skies guys is pushing 300 dollars if we look back at the beginning of the year i didn't think so and it's just absolutely blown out of the water. Really good. Really, really good. Anyway, guys, that is it from me in this video. Thank you all so much for watching. As always, you guys are the legends. And I'll see you all in the next one.